and of course this is the point where we get to step live and direct into the market <laughs> uh well, with uh, the market woman i said if i call her market woman she's to eye me hi caroline good morning <laughs> <laughs> market party point of question uh, uh, okay. market party that's probably your market best friend okay get market party market. i got you good morning. all right so we're going to be having an overview of you know the market food market on the uh former president uh, Muhammad Buhari, a Nigeria's consumer price index for food, which used to measure, which is used to measure the level of food inflation in the country, has risen by 263% under former President Muhammad Buhari's administration. In April of 2023, the CPI for food in Nigeria stood at 640.0 compared to 176.3 points in May of 2015, which is when President Buhari assumed office. The index measures the average change over time in prices of major food items consumed by people. It measures changes in prices using major food items captured in a basket of consumer goods and services purchased by households. The price, uh, the rise in the food index has been caused by increases in prices of food products uh, such as bread, cereals, potatoes, eggs, yam and other tubers, fruits, meat, fish, oil and fat. Food inflation rose to 24.61% in April 2023 from 9.78% in May 2015. The rising, uh, the rising rate of food inflation is evidenced in the rising prices of food items such as rice, beans, bread, yam, vegetables, fruits, and eggs, which have all gone up by at least 100% between 2015 and this year. The rising, the rising prices have worsened food insecurity in the country. Food production in the country is still largely insufficient to satisfy its over 200 million people. Nigeria's widening food deficit was highlighted in the Agriculture Promotion Policy 2016 to 2020, a document of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, which shows there are 20.14 million tons of crop deficit and 16 million poultry beds deficit. Constant rise in the food price under President Mohamed Buhari's administration and its impact on the consumer price index has diminished the presidency's claim that the country has achieved food sufficiency under his administration. So we're going to be taking a look at the you know price of food staples before, during, uh, and during uh, you know President Muhammad Buhari's administration. The one that used to off me the most. The price, the difference in prices mm -hmm. of a particular product that used to bust my brain is mm -hmm. eggs. Okay, yeah. How did we go from buying one egg at 30 naira, I think 40 naira at some point. No, the time we're buying for 20 naira. So now it is 100 naira. 100 naira. 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 One some, egg. My area, 150. Jehovah. <laughs> 150. So the, the truth is, for you, it's, it's not looking as if a particular administration mm. things get higher than the previous I mean one. that's what it is because that's what, like that, that's what it's that what it's looking like yeah you get my point so during the, the past the, the past and present before Bra which is in Jonathan mm. at least we're buying we're, we're buying bags of rice eight thousand there was a time it went to fifteen thousand people are like oh it's too much but now <laughs> forty thousand thirty five thousand thirty eight thousand wow so these prices they go up during this administration which during uh, when he was coming in, mm. he, made, he made promise for food security. The farmers are going to earn more. They're going to earn more. We'll buy food at lesser price. Mm. What? So that's if we even bought a triple the price. price. Yeah. Sure you get. So it it it's so sad that we we found ourselves in that situation. So we're actually looking forward to this because looking at it is a it's it's the new beginning of another mm. administration. Renewed hope. Sure you get. So we are hoping for. At least better food prices. Better food prices because at least he made a problem during um, uh, his um, speech during mm. his inauguration. inauguration. That is, he promised that at least the farmers will earn. Mm -hmm. He emphasized that the farmers are going to earn, and the citizens are going to at least buy at a lesser price. Mm. So we hope and pray that this <laughs> <laughs> has because it, it's not a thing. At least it, it's it's tenure is renewed hope. Mm. So we are hoping. 
so let's keep we are all keeping up our life and all of that at least even if you can tell the, the last time you bought you complained of egg mm -hmm. okay we're not complaining of matches somebody should be 15 now for the pack for the pack she get my point so all of these things and in mm. fact these are our country so they're selling matches for stick <laughs> problem you know, you know that's a conversation that came up among uh, my friends and i we were i was on a podcast i think two weekends ago and we were talking about this food pricing thing uh, goods and services generally and how the prices are uh, keep hiking and someone said that sachet milk mm. at some point sachet milk was sold for 15 naira mm -hmm. i think Even 10 yeah. naira. or 10 naira yeah and that was i think that was during um a very good luck jonathan's yeah. administration now one sachet of milk mm. is sold for how i think it's 100 naira. 100 naira. Uh, 100 100 naira. Naira. and they've even reduced it and the size has like reduced mm. first of all i wouldn't even describe that as milk i would describe it as a taste of milk so mm. so that you just so know what it tastes <laughs> like so it all look like you, know, you don't, don't have milk. milk in your tea i mean in developed climbs you don't even see that type of packaging because first of all it is very harmful to the environment mm. and you have so much um nylon uh you know littered all over the place but that's conversation for mm. another day mm. so let us bring it back to what we're talking about we're looking at the index of food prices during the last administration there are some a lot of factors that contributed to that so banditry and you know headers clashes with mm. farmers Insecurity. started yeah. just towards the tail end of good luck jonathan's administration okay. and it hiked in the middle of buhari's administration mm. so the things that farmers would usually enjoy the safety for even for those of them that have passion and love for mm, going to farm they can't even go to farm as usual as they would usually do mm. so how do you think that is a part of the things yeah, that contributed mm. to these hike in prices what do you think can be done to ameliorate that mm, i feel this new admission what they can just do is just to tighten the security mm. so that farmers can because i know we have a lot of farmers that want to go to the farm to farm and all of that but due to their fear of uh, what if i go to the farm today will i come back home and mm. life and all of that so they just need to like this tighten tightening the security to make sure that farmers are secure they don't have this hope that i am going to the farm to work and i'm going to come back alive i'm not going with the fear of hey this is the fear of ah let me just go let mm. me just go and come back with the hope that okay fine i'll come out alive and all of that you just need to tighten the security too. they should prioritize security but it's looking as if okay yeah let's not say they are not trying their best to an extent but at least they should prioritize it because if if it is being prioritized mm. definitely we'll see changes to an extent even though it won't be so hundred percent like that it can't be done in one day but at least we'll see changes at least they should just prioritize it and see that okay this security aspect of because it's a mm. major factor sure. like really contributing to the hike in food prices because nobody wants to go to the farm again mm -hmm. they'll tell you ah, instead of going to the farm you just stay at home <laughs> you know that my life is just safe at home and all of that if they can just see to the fact that security it should be number one mm. on their list on their to-do list so that to make things better for masses mm -hmm.